Rich, your your skin is white. Like it's painted white. Patricia Payne's skin is so pretty with us piping hot tea, girl. Do you know how sad I was that Frenemies was over? Do you know how many times I quit Frenemies and then we film again Monday? Everyone still blames me for Frenemies being over. It is your fault. Mm. That's why you guys come here. You put in the comments down below and go on all these other people. Fabulous people are making videos about it and they're talking about it in the comments down below because you can't do it on Twitch's channel. It's so true. People want a way they can like vent and talk. Right. Fill the room with the juice. Uh, that's a lot of loot. Uh, that bit fire. Uh, yeah, she kind of cute. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you are brand new here, hello. My name is Pearl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to Rich Lux. Now, if you have been on my channel for a while now, you know that I have a ton of Rich Lux reaction videos, but I have not been caught up at all whatsoever on what's going on in Rich's life. I have no idea, but he did just drop a video about Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein's whole drama. So let's go ahead and watch that. Also, should I do a reaction video on Luscious Massacre? Because I haven't seen Luscious's videos in so long and I'm just like, girl, like, hold up. But I know she posted a video about why she left youtube or something like that so let me know down below if you want a luscious massacre video because i do just want to see like what's going on over there now let's get into this because this video is 22 minutes long so let's let's see what's going on let's see let's see what's happened and excuse my hair and just the way i am looking today i just got done working out and i just got my nails done so i have been running but i want to stay on schedule so that is why I am looking like this. Because I know y'all have never seen me like in a high bun before. At least I don't think so. It's very, it's giving very <gasps> African queen. Is it not? It's giving very much that. I saw fire. I didn't know what was happening. It, it still, it still rips me up. It still tears me up so much. With their ads and their sponsors. For what? Are those oh real tears? Oh my gosh, girl. Here we are again talking about... <laughs> Whoa, pause. Wait, whoa. Stop, stop. You got... First of all, you you all are rude for not preparing me for this. You all are rude for not preparing me for this. For you to tell me to do a Rich Lux reaction video and not prepare me. Oh! Oh! Okay, let me... What are you wearing? Rich, your your skin is white. Like it's painted white. Rich, got the wig. Rich, scorch my lips. <laughs> what is this? You know, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna sip tea, guys. You want some tea, girl? You want some tea? Get your Rich. tea. Rich, grab a snack. Come on back. We have a lot to talk about with Miss Trish Payne. Is this normal? Has he been doing this look really for a while? Hot. Scalding tea of this Trisha Paytas. This is drama. very interesting. Oh, so hot, it's hot off the press. Blonde oh, hair. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there we go. Blue eyeshadow. Okay, guys, so I want to say a big thank you. No triangle. Like, like, watching and commenting and liking. Like, thank you guys so much. Oh, my, my, my hair. White. This is not a wig. This is my hair. I don't even. And, uh, just thank you guys. I love you guys so much. Cl and, clown? Like, it just means a lot to me that you guys, like, watch me and support me. And for those of you who can't afford to buy, like, my Rich. lashes and my Rich. merch and all that other Rich. stuff we down below. Just you guys watching, liking, commenting, sharing. That's all that stuff is free. So just thank you guys. Okay, so, so a little genuine awesome. touch. Yeah, it really makes my day. So just like thank you. Okay, and you smiling? Let's talk about this Trish drama. It really does. But it's so sad. Girl. This is a There's new so much, rich. Girl. Who there is this? Literally, so much going on. And I do want to play a little clip, right? So we got we, the we know the eyelash breakdown, right? Openly. Mm -hmm. I don't well, see. I don't think that was literally. Wow. Like, I think that was just like the eruption of it. But if you really pay attention, girl, wow. like seriously, if you really look at it, I'm looking at you. Okay. She was. <laughs> she, <laughs> she was rich. Like, <laughs> I feel empowered. Uh, like y'all like, really post diagnosis. Y'all really. Uh, yeah. I see why y'all wanted me to react to this. Oh my lord, Jesus! I was showing hints that this was gonna happen. <laughs> it ain't even October yet. He got the he got the pumpkin in the bag. <laughs> right. I don't think that Trisha takes rejection lightly. I don't think that um, she likes hearing the word no. Absolutely uh, doesn't. I, I understand, girl. When you're used to getting your way and you're queen diva of the house, you're making all the money in the house, and girl, like, she, I think she kind of lives in a world where everything's about her. Uh, and that's great. You know, she she created that. 
She yeah. deserves it. Yeah. But I think that... Something about that blonde the hair, podcast, ain't it? She lost her job with that. Blonde hair, you know, that white skin. It was a good gig. It was a good gig. Girl. It was she a good gig. And she, she messed up. That came along with that Stupid job. girl. Don't she she done. I mean... She did get fired. At that point, she got Basically. fired. And I never forget this clip. There was like a couple, couple weeks ago. We, we ran the article here, story, however you want to say, bro. <laughs> okay. We, we ran it here. And... She 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 mentioned something about I'm so frustrated it gets under my skin I can't believe it I can't let this go I'm so upset and I was like oh really so is it the rejection part like why can't you just let this go mm -hmm. so we brought you the clip grab a snack come on back we're gonna talk about it no Here snack seventy five hard challenge open. water. <laughs> I don't care. He has a way bigger fan base, a way louder fan base. They send me hate. They continue to send me hate. They continue to harass my sister. My sister's not even on social media anymore. She's not on TikTok. She's not anywhere. Because she made a stupid TikTok, deleted it right away, but now it lives on forever on the H3 podcast channel and the highlights under the title, like, Trisha's sister, whatever. She took it down. She had remorse. She was sorry. And you're still blasting that. Like, the fans... But she was really so dumb for doing what she did. My sister off social media. It, it's, it's the worst. It's the most negative, toxic fan base. And it looked in the matter 24 hours. You... And now the tweet again. This makes me sad. You haven't even seen the podcast. You don't even know what I said. Like, it's not even out. This isn't a personal attack. I'm my own person. And now I'm getting so much hate again. It's just, that to me is toxic bullying, harassment, taking use of your fan base. Like, you want me out of You did the same thing. Talking about how much you hated David. Don't say, oh, I'm dragging this on. I'm talking about when you're doing it too. It's, I'm so frustrated. And it's just so annoying. I kind of don't even hear anymore. I'm just logging off. I just don't care. I'm logging off for the day. I don't care. Do you know how sad I was that Frenemies was over? Do you know how many times I quit Frenemies and then we film again Monday? Everyone still blames me for Frenemies being over. It is your when, fault. In reality, when Ethan out of his own it mouth is. on that last episode said, yeah, like I, because he sent private messages between us to his crew, which obviously they're going to have some type of feeling about. Like, why, you know, why wouldn't you? But those were meant for me, Ethan. And he showed it to the entire crew. Thus resulting in people not wanting... I was ready to film the next day. I was ready to do it. Thus him telling me, like, oh, don't come film. Like, we, let's just take a couple days to pull off. Like, all this stuff. When he was the one manipulating the situation, lying about the situation, then lying to the audience, saying, I wanted the entire crew fire. It still... It's... it's It, it still rips me up. It's it the way you implied it, so though. Much. And the fact that he admitted it. But because Girl. it makes him just a tiny bit guilty in, in an equal part of Frenemies ending, it's just like... And then this, trying to just... Really just sending hate my way for literally no reason because no one's even heard. Of Girl, I don't want to drag this out. She act like she ain't started. ever had hate still before. So much resentment in her, I have for being completely trashed by Ethan on that episode he did right after. And for the matter of forty eight hours, he just completely annihilated my character in so many ways. He was totally fine. With he me. He decided to do an absolute hit piece on me. When in reality, can I just say that Ethan actually made her reputation, her brand, who she is higher i actually gained more respect for trisha being on the podcast now that she is not on the podcast yeah you're right back to where you were before you got on the podcast which was what nobody was with you you was over here looking for your next gig like girl it's almost like seriously she's living another life she is living another life we are not there we are not there we we are not there like collectively mm -mm. We're not there. He was the one. She's we living something else. Like, to his entire seriously. Staff the night before we were supposed to film again. And of course they wouldn't want to film with me. Like, why would why would you send our private conversations to a whole staff? Like, he did that. He admitted that on the last episode of the podcast. I have a lot of bad feelings about that. Okay. It does not sit well with me. This is all very fresh. This is Valid. something that consumes me on the daily. Valid. It hurts me so much. And it eats at me so big to be like, just to be light on. And for everyone being like, how are you never wrong? I'm always in the wrong. I'm always apologizing. I do a lot of wrong. I just wish other people could admit the same. I'm not reading even comments online because, like, the internet is just literally so stupid on so many levels. Like, it is stupid. At the end of the day, it is stupid. But I'm one, I take pride in not cowering away from people I have disagreements with, people that don't like me. Like, I will always talk to, confront respectfully people that I have issues with, and I call it out. I don't know why people haven't even heard the episode. I'm like, this is awful. It's like, oh, you haven't even heard it. Like, I saw that he comes for on. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of backlash. I'm not afraid of looking stupid or dumb or being caught up in something. Like, if, if it is what it is, that's what it is. The first ever A Street podcast, there was many times I looked stupid and dumb and called out. And it was embarrassing. But I went back and, you know what, 
that's what you do. That's what a, that's a podcast. That's growth. That's maturity. That's entertainment. <sighs> you can reach out, talk to me. He has my number if he wants, but he's Girl, using me as clickbait and titles and thumbnails. You so, thought people were gonna be on your side, them, like we do with Jeff, right? That's because what you thought. Get through to Jeff. I mean, he deleted videos. Like it does get through to people, and maybe it doesn't. Mean, whatever. Try if you're gonna call someone out and you're gonna disagree with them so vehemently. Like talk to them always been open to discussion i went back to talk with ethan to like get closure to get peace i didn't force him to he had asked me to do it for the merge when the merge sold out or whatever i don't know it's like just didn't he just pulled the plug i didn't force him to do it didn't ask he asked me i'll continue to go on other people's podcasts i have nothing to do with ethan that this is all my stuff i have my own person i am my own uh, person with my own are person. you i call people out because what I'm you did and be like i'm not gonna talk to them or i'm gonna ignore them or block them like tough issues and issues that matter to me and I'll have those debates, and I'll continue to. And it's about me. It's about me. Either way, it's about me. Is it wasn't about you when you were talking crap about oh. Ethan on Kingstar's podcast? Was it about you then, or Ethan? And they should do it the same. Was it about you when you created enemies? Was it about you? They both film it. Whether that's just for you know having the proof or you know the clout, whatever it is, but having discussions with someone that you've like. Just don't see eye to eye with that you think is an awful person that's big on the pot. Like, it's important, especially now. Do you, do you want to keep losing sponsors? Do you want to keep having strikes on the channel? Like, just clear the air. You don't have to agree with someone. You don't have to like the person. I just don't understand why you can't have a discussion with a person without people being like, oh, my gosh, this is awful. It makes no sense to me. I think discussions are important. And think about this. Ethan had no problem airing three of my mental breakdowns where I literally lost my shit and went out the that door. He had no problem. Why? Here we that's go. Really wrong. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. If she, okay, this is my thing. This is my thing. She, he had no problem airing out my, my, you are the one that put that out there. You realize that, right? Like even the videos I have on this channel of me crying, breaking down, manic episode, depression, suicidal thoughts, whatever it is, that is something I decided to put on this channel that somebody else can then use that against me at any point in time, no matter what. Whether it's a corporate job, a recruiter, a person, a, an agent, a manager, they can decide. No, I don't want to. I don't want to deal with somebody that has mental health issues or whatever have you. You were the one that put that out there. You, the thing is, is not everybody with a mental health issue is publicly putting their stuff out there. They're not. They're not. So you can't really say. That it's a bad thing that somebody has shared that video, or or or, or 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 I don't even I don't even know what you're even trying to like say. Like, oh, it's a bad thing that Ethan like did that. Girl, you're very open about your mental health. You've always been. Let's not use this as an excuse because what you're doing is you're 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 diminishing what so many people like to talk about publicly, and that's not about to happen over here. Like, no, we gonna talk about it publicly, but just not like this. Like, girl, what? into the last episode he can post it if he wants but then that final episode where we're talking peaceful and he admit he did and that he straight up lied because i had him we sat there i recorded the whole thing because i know people fucking edit shit and i was like find me this and he looked he was searching he was trying to find where i said i wouldn't show up again was there i was trying to see where it was like it didn't and like it just sucks because he's like you know what yeah i fucked up too and it's like that's all like hit like i would have needed to hear publicly but i'm still getting bashed for it. i'm still all this stuff. even now me going on a podcast has nothing to do with ethan i've talked about the situation on other podcasts but because it's keemstar it's like oh like this makes me sad i've been a youtuber 15 years you and know I'm what you were doing this is how i stay relevant this is what i do i talk to people i have discussions you know what you were doing and towards ethan in that last episode and him just like really not giving i'm getting so much hate and the same thing with you doing my sister uploading her tiktok when she deleted her. like i do have resentment for that not everything I do is about him. It's long gone. The way he inserted himself into me and Keemstar's drama being like, they're going against each other. Like, inserting it into our thing. Like, he did that to himself. You know? So, naturally, it's going to be brought up because he did a video about it. And that's the video that got removed or whatever. My initial video about it <coughs> had nothing to do with Ethan. I never... I didn't mention Ethan in it. He was on a Twitch saying that he knew how much I made on all my websites and stuff. And how this other girl was making way more than me. He's constantly taking jabs at me. His parents talking about my weight. His parents saying I'm just like Gabby Hanna when he knows how triggering that is to me when I begged him not to. Everyone him. says it. Thumbnail. So everyone's triggering to you. And he's been complaining that I talk about him, but then he did it again a week ago, putting my name and picture in the thumbnail. Girl. It's the hypocrisy for me. Girl. I just, I, girl. Girl. I have animosity in me still. 
for Ethan, the way I do with David and Jason. Why? Because they can't admit they did something wrong. Like, I admit I'm in the wrong, but- David and Jason, but not Shane Dawson. On that not to the star. They don't think they did anything wrong. And they are, they're happy to let people hate on me for something that just wasn't true. He admitted in that final episode that he screenshot my text and sent them to the crew. And that's where this all thing started and that he had made some mistakes, but he can never, he can never show that. He can never prove that and he has to blame other people and every, it's just like, and I will always hang on to that resentment. If someone can just admit that there was some wrongdoing, there's some closure. There's the some thing is, is like, yes, and, like, people can admit it and people will, but that doesn't matter. You still were a byproduct, Trisha. At the end of the day, you were a byproduct. You, it was not... It was not, oh my God, like Trisha has this podcast, you guys. And there's this guy on there. His name is Ethan. Yeah. And Ethan, no, it wasn't like that. Like he already had an established audience. He already had an established, credible podcast. I'm not understanding how you don't see that. Like, girl, I'm. Because they, they can't admit it. I don't have that closure. It's not even closure. Closure. Taking accountability. Taking accountability. So doing so that they lied about something. Or it's just, it's just frustrating. You just want them that. to have hate, and, that and that's Charles not Charles what it's going to be, you unfortunately. You Charles use an actual p word, but you can have a discussion with Keemstar. Like benefits people. It's a not about the yo. The make. reason that people don't like that you were with Keemstar is because of the fact that everybody knows Ethan and Keemstar don't like each other. So at that point, you put your character on display for execution. I don't understand. I was so excited. It's, it was and loyalty. Like, when people can have debates it, and discussions and like opposite opinions. That's why I love people like The View and people, you know, people like Frenemies because we were opposites that had different opinions. Bro, I literally shouldn't have watched this. <laughs> like, what the heck? Video saying that I looked like a WWE wrestler about to slam down, that I looked like a corpse sitting in my casket. And I still went on his podcast because I believe in having healthy debates. No, because you thought... Uh, Girl, say something I because I, I I can just keep going. Very bitch lately today. Like she was coming for Ethan for oh, quite some time. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and say that Ethan is the, is a, is a saint girl. Thank you. Part of the pink religion. He played the like game that. better I than you. He, he, he did some. He did some dirt too. Okay. He played the game better and you mad. Man, you're so, where is your PR? Like, how do you not have somebody in PR okay, just that's like. That's why I'm not going to sit here and be bada bada, rada rada, team Ethan Klein 100%, team Trish Page. There you go. I can, I see it like Chanel. Okay, like, no, I don't see Chanel it like that. I see, I see both <laughs> sides of this drama. I see both it like Chanel. Wrong. And that doesn't mean they're bad people. It literally doesn't. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone falls off the wagon and gets back on. Everybody does that, right? It's not help. She says she's getting help. Just basically says she's going to therapy, getting help the house, or whatever. I don't think she I don't is. That one big Me either. And if she is, the therapy ain't working. It's so okay. She lost jobs, lost money, lost friends, broken families up. Uh, her connection with her subscribers has dropped. I see people subscribing. You, you know, she you can't you can't leave a comment on her video. She disabled the comments. Right. You can't oh, there you can, not even constructive criticism. Not not even. Those diehard Trisha Paytas fans who are like, Trisha, I love you so much, but I just want to, I just want to be a little critical here. Da 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 da. And I, I'm still gonna let them support you, but maybe be clean this side of your street up. Da da da. Nothing. You you can't even say that. Mm -hmm. That's why you guys come here. You put in the comments down below and go on all these other people, fabulous people who are making videos about it, and they're talking about it in the comments down below because you can't do it on Trisha's channel. It's so true. People want a way they can like vent and talk. Right. It's just very interesting, and there's so, you know what's so, it is, ain't it? so weird <laughs> is that Trisha Paytas had no, seriously, she had no girl, she had no remorse, not a care in the world when she came after David Dobrik and talking to girls and the, and the beer alcohol thing, the Shane Dawson drama. Who else, girl? Who has a Anytime there's an inkling of, of like little, multiple little, times, yeah, you know, little multiple going people. on, she literally was the first yeah. one going down, yeah. making her video girl just lashing. I can't believe and how dare and whoop de whoop de whoop. I'm saying, girl. But now that people are asking her, questioning her, can you please just stop? She don't want to talk, girl. I broke more stuff. Than <laughs> she You're harassing me. She blocking people. She uh, disabled her Twitter, 
her video. You can't even comment on her video. It's like, I don't understand how you felt so comfortable talking about those people's drama. But then when it's your turn and, and they put the mirror in front of your face, you <laughs> don't done. want to talk about it. It's like, it doesn't make any sense to me, girl. Like, just, you have no big, I mean, you, this is coming from a person who literally said things like dogs have no brains and that, that's very much, I mean, there's, she said, said so much. She said things, so girl. much crazy stuff. And this, you don't want to talk about it. It's like, girl, why not? You had, you talk about everyone else's you Talk about everything all the time. And, and their issues they went through. I do believe that Trish Pace had, has had some trauma. Yeah. Lots of drama for her mama. Let's go to the Bahamas. When I get back, I tell your mama all the drama. I okay, rapper. I do believe that. <laughs> I do believe that she is, is a compulsive liar. She is. Because you can Shane tell. Dawson himself allegedly told Peter Ma. Peter Ma made a video saying that. I actually think I said it just a couple days ago. That when I met with Shane Dawson in Las Vegas, um, that he paid us as a pathological liar. So I kind of want to talk about the conversation and just put it to rest once and for all that I had with Shane. Peter Ma's main things, but a liar's not one, girl. Okay? It's very good. I won't go I think that she has an issue with compulsive lying. I really do think so. Friends in her circle have said it, and it's leaked out. People have been knowing this, girl. And I get it. You want to sit up there live for views and clout for social media or fake it to you? She's delusional ahead, at this point. Ahead. But it's kind of like it got. You're believing your own this drama that, stuff. Like, that's going on. It just got way too far. And it's, it's very too messy. much. It's very it's possible. With her, and it's very possible I think to that do she's that. just kind of taken back I and shook that there. people are coming for her. You know, because the only redeeming factor that she had. Was being on that damn H3H3 podcast. Period. She, that was it. That was it. It made her likable. Mm -hmm. It made her vulnerable. The respect of uh, People got to see another side of her. Absolutely. In a way. It opened up to a whole new audience. Wasn't on a kitchen who floor. didn't know the Trisha that we know. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that that was the last straw. And then when she broke that and started coming for him. Right. You know, like, girl, remember, what like, are you she doing? She tweeted him so many times. And he said one thing and she just popped off. Girl, right. Come on. You got it. You have to literally give me that. Trisha Page has fans. from As of right now, she don't got that many. But I believe that she can get in the good graces of the people once again. Yeah. I really do think so. But she would really have to put in the work and try. And she's not trying. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what she's doing. She's evidently getting sued. I'm like, like what is going girl. on? Oh, girl. And this and Moses, it's an issue the wedding coming up. Please don't get me started. It's a lot, girl. It's too much. It's a lot. Shane Dawson, I heard, was was all up in the tea watching face watching drama go down too, girl. Mm -hmm. Where's my $44? I'm just saying, can I get a like on this video? Can y'all leave, yes, like, leave me a comment? Yes, I will I'm give you a like. Not for your outfit, though, because, like, sir, get a I'm going to need like, one of y'all to explain this to me. Is this just Halloween? It's sad and it breaks my heart Halloween, because right? it, she's a human at the end of the day, right? But it's like you give people, girl, so many chances. You give people the benefit of the doubt so many times. Oh, my God. Continue to just. To so the point where it's just like. To let you down. I don't just, even at some no point, you're just like, girl, I just can't anymore. Can't you do know? it. And I think a lot of her subscribers are like that. It's sad, and I don't even have the words for it. I think those, I think you know, and I eventually, if I, if I keep rambling on and rambling on and rambling on, I guess eventually what I'm trying to say will eventually come out. But it's just so sad, and it breaks my heart. I just think that I don't know what's going to happen. And and uh, a friend of mine, we had a conversation. She said, you know, I kind of feel like if Trisha Paytas, when she finally lays to rest one day, she's going to be talked about in history books, psychological books, of uh, like she literally, maybe if if, she, if what she's saying maybe. is true, she has all these issues with her mind and therapy, and there's a lot of a lot of trauma in her life, and she made it this successful and this financially wealthy and financially independent. It's like wow, mm. you had all this working against you inside your head, and you still find, managed to to make it and mm. be successful entrepreneur. Like that, I'm telling you, we're talking about it, girl. It really is. Mm. Whether it maybe has to do a lot of her lies and stuff, but I do think that she kind of lies for attention and views. And you know what sucks about it? Yeah. Because I've met Trisha before in person. She doesn't need it. She doesn't need to lie 
to make herself fit in or seem cool. I think it's, it's you know, a like, parody thing. She talked about in her book. I think so. When she went to school in high school or whatever, she talked about like, she doesn't need that. She is entertaining and beautiful and wonderful as she, as is. I don't think she realizes that though. As is. She doesn't need to lie. I don't doesn't think need so. to like manipulate and bend things and do this. She doesn't need any of that. She's she's great the way Trisha is. Trisha's great the way Trisha is. One hundred percent house down period. Whether you like her or love her, or whatever. You know, but who is she now? Because I don't know. Like I literally who is that person? Like even like those videos? Who who was that? What are you even saying? Like I know you can't be this. See guy. how people would want to come for him. For like using her for cloud and her mental illness and putting her. If she has display. a kid with him, I understand that, but I do really do feel in my heart that he was a good friend of her and was really, truly, I think so too, heartedly trying to help her and was a positive influence in her life. Ethan, I think but so. Even if Moses? even if one hundred percent, Ethan did everything right and walked on eggshells and bent over backwards for her more than any person had ever would in the world. Even if he gave her a hundred percent of the revenue from the podcast and this no, and mind. that, and just shower her with wealth and gifts, she still would have popped off and destroyed the relationship. There with we go. Mind because if you've been following Trisha for such a long time, she self destructs, yeah. self sabotages, self sabotages, yeah. and ruins relationships. She has said this herself. Mm -hmm. This was going to happen no matter what. Yeah. This was going to happen no matter what. It seems like the only people. That she that she somewhat seems to keep around no matter what is her mom and her sister, mm -hmm. and she loves hard. And when they break up with her boyfriend, she goes all off. She pops off, girl. Mm -hmm. But it, it's interesting the dynamic of that because it's, it's a lot. We can go into that maybe another video if you guys want to hear about it. But let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. Thank you guys for the uh -huh. likes and subscriptions and, and like I said, all that. Not miss upon me. It really means so much for you guys watch my videos. Thank you guys so much. For ringing the notification bell and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making my wildest dreams come true. And I just appreciate you so much. So I'll let you guys go. Please, I'll be reading the comments, girl. Hold on. I'll be reading on the comments. <laughs> okay. what you guys have to say about all the drama and the comments I'm down below. Done. I'm really interested in what you guys have to say. So I will see you guys in the next video. Barbara, you had me screaming in the beginning with this outfit, sir. Absolutely screaming. Explain, you guys. Explain. Because there's just no way I'm about to go through like four to five months worth of Rich Lux content to figure out what, what where this happened. I, I, it's just not going to happen. It's, it's, it's just not going to happen. But by golly, does he look happier? That's great. Like, he looks happier, right? Like, he's actually smiling. Like, I don't know. He, he looks like he, he likes what he's doing. You know? I don't know. Oh, there was a time where it definitely wasn't looking like that. Let's be honest. There was a time where it definitely was not looking like that. Now that outfit though, okay, like what was that actually? Was that a king? Was that a king? A servant? What 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 generation was that too? The blue eyeshadow, the blonde hair, and the white skin, and not just white skin, but like white clown skin. Are the triangles gone now? You guys, please catch me up because I am absolutely completely lost. Also, I am really glad that Ethan is going to help out Mysterious because I think the whole... Okay, so for example, like when Trisha said, oh, well, somebody made a video and, you know, they just gathered a couple facts. Like, I felt I felt like that was so weird to say because it's just like, is that not what people can... Like, can people not... Can people not do that? Like, can people not find facts and make a video and post it on YouTube? Like, are you saying that that's something that, that, that shouldn't have been done? Like, I felt like that was the weirdest thing. And then to find out that she's actually, well, actually, she already succeeded by taking the video down. That is guilt. Let me tell you something. I feel like Trisha regrets it. I feel like she regrets it. And what she needs to do is, like, look at herself and really be like, dang, was I the one that ended? Like, did I self-sabotage the ending of, a, of of Frenemies? Like, was, was that me? There's no way that was me. Was that me? Because that's, that, that's another thing is every time she talks about it, she doesn't talk about Frenemies. Have you noticed that? Every time she talks about Ethan or anything that they do or blaming them, she says the H3 Productions, H3 Podcast, H3. She doesn't say frenemies. These are the little things that I pick up about Trisha that is just very like, she's not dumb. She's she's doing things for a, for a reason, but at the same time, is that reason clear, concise, and, and makes sense? I don't know. Like, I personally don't think 
that she even knows because it just sounds like delusion time after time after time. I don't know where this is gonna go, but let me say this here. I just hope she doesn't have a kid with Moses. I really hope she doesn't. That's where I'm at. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. Let me know what y'all thought about this reaction as well because who was I shook in the beginning? My ears are gonna hurt while I'm editing this, but Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end, especially if you are brand new here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video, okay? Hopefully Trisha will be on the earth that we are on. We'll see.